Jody from mcpactions.com. Today we're going to be focusing on our skin tricks part two. This lesson is going to be on how to deal with shiny skin. Usually shiny skin can be the result of either too much heat and light and the person's actually got some sweat beads or sometimes you actually will blow out the red channel. It's a huge offender for making skin look a little bit shiny. In this situation, that's what it will be that we're going to look at my example of today. So we're going to go ahead and open up that photo now. It's the same photo we worked on on Skin Tricks Part 1. So you'll notice we already have the under eye skin layer right here. And now we're going to work on her nose area. If you go under Window, Info, and you pull up your Info palette, which is right here, you'll see where it says R, G, and B. And what you want to make sure of is that you have nothing that says 255 on the skin. I somehow have this habit of blowing out my reds and sometimes when I make the face nice and bright I'll have 255 on my red channel. If that happens, especially on a close-up, um, this is a way to help fix it. It's kind of a, if you will, a magic trick because there is no real way to get that detail back but we're gonna fake it. So don't tell anyone. Anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to start with a new layer and we're going to actually get off of the patch tool now and we're going to use our paintbrush tool. So go ahead and select your brush tool and we're going to make a new duplicate layer. We're not going to duplicate. We're going to do an actual new layer, which is Control Shift N and you can name this layer Shine. Bye bye. How about that? Shine bye bye. Okay, so you'll see it's a blank layer. It's transparent. You can see the checkerboard. Now what we need to do is we need to make sure that our opacity and our fill are down way low. So I'm going to go down to about 15% for each in this top toolbar right here with the brush tool. We're going to keep the mode on normal. And what we're going to do is we're going to select the paintbrush tool and we're going to click on an area of skin that's a little bit darker than the shine. So to me, that might be like right here. We might even go up a little bit darker than that. Or you could come in here at the shadow of the nose, but that may be too dark. We'll have to see. What you're going to do is you're going to actually paint on skin. And you'll watch as the shine disappears. Now the nice part about this is it's going, going to go very slowly and do it very subtly. And it should be pretty hard to notice as you're doing it actually. You'll see me rubbing it on the skin. Now it's going to keep duplicating the effect because we're at 15% flow and 15% opacity. It's very, very light what we're pa painting on, which is good. So it'll look very natural. So I'm going to just kind of go over these areas right here in the hot spots. Maybe a little bit right above the lip. I'll make the brush a little bit smaller. When you see me moving my brush smaller and larger, by the way, I'm not going up to the top. I'm actually using the keys just above the enter key. To the Just above the enter key, there's a right and left bracket key. The right bracket makes your brush bigger, and the left bracket makes it smaller. So as you're navigating around, it really makes it easier to edit this way. A few more hot spots over here. And if your opacity was up higher, say 30%, it would go much faster, but you might also get very blotchy skin, and you don't want that. Okay, let's see the before and after now. That was the before and that was the after and you can see the nose is nice and matte finish not a lot of shine there and if there's any other areas you can go through those and do them too but I think I got them pretty good on this photo so that is my secret tip so don't keep it a secret let people know to come watch the video at mcpactions.com blog thank you so much for watching today and I will see you at my next tutorial